Hey there. You look a little lost. Are you looking for some horror stories? Come on, follow me. Welcome everyone. Wednesdays are now fictional stories. So there will either be one, there might be two, there might be eight. Who knows? This week will only be one. So it's going to be really short, but I'm going to gauge how many stories I'll put in a video based off of the comments and interaction with this video. So I would like to take this time and introduce one of the best horror writers that I actually love. Um, and she's young, so she'll have a huge future in this if she keeps writing. Anyway, her name is Rosie Rose. So tonight's video is being sponsored by <laughs> Rosie Rose because she's letting me read it here on the channel. So if you like what you are hearing, please let me know in the comments and we'll see if the videos start gaining some speed. If not, then it will still be a split Wednesday. I'll still release a horror story and of course the regular one. Cool. All right. This should be the only time that you hear me ramble this long. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and read this for you all and see what you think of it. Rosie Rose, thank you so much for being who you are. And thank you for your fascinating, horrific pieces. Let's get started, everyone. I found a tape recorder in the woods. What happened afterwards will forever haunt me. Written by Rosie Rose. Just to give some information, I was part of a search team. I'm not a part of it anymore after what happened. Some time ago, we were alerted of a hiker that went missing in the woods. So, a search party of about 40 to 50 people was arranged. The woods are fairly big, so having that many people helps to scour the area. About five people were put to a singular group. The area of the woods mine and another group was sent to search was an area of trees that stayed dead. The forest is just completely dead in that area. No animals and no plant life. I never liked this part of the woods. Ever since I was a child, I felt like I was being watched in that part. I, along with the others, started the search. My group went in one direction and the other in the opposite. Throughout the entire time, I felt chills down my spine, as if something was watching me. I tried to dismiss the whole thing and focused on searching for the missing hiker. The further we went in, the more I felt my stomach sink lower and lower as my heart rate sped up. By the time, it was nearly dusk. I had nearly worked myself into a panic attack but I tried to stay calm. It was getting dark now, so our group leader led us back to our meetup spot where the other groups were already. Both leaders decided to call it a day and continue searching tomorrow. Everyone agreed, looking very much worried. Perhaps they had felt what I had felt. After about 45 minutes, we all felt despair. We spent 45 minutes trying to get out when it took a shorter time to get back to the tree edge. It wasn't like we didn't mark the trees. We marked the trees we passed, but now we can't find the marked ones. It was like the trees were moving and distorting our sense of direction. We had tried using our phones to call for help, but there was no signal, so we continued on walking. I tripped on a tree root that shouldn't have been there. I fell over, and when I went to get up, I noticed a voice recording cassette tape. I picked it up and alerted the people in my party. We decided to listen to it since we saw nothing else to do. We had succumbed to the fact that we were trapped in the forest. We decided to listen to it. <sighs> listen... I don't have much time left before I'm fully consumed, but whoever finds this, get the hell out of the woods as fast as you can. <laughs> I 
I had only come here to hike, but things went downhill fast. After about two hours in my hike, I noticed something was off. The scenery had changed from the green, luscious forest I had entered to the dark, dead forest I had found myself in. <laughs> I tried finding my way back, but no matter what I tried, I couldn't. Night had fallen, and now I was for sure stuck. <laughs> I tried to sleep, but I couldn't. And then it attacked. Vines had stabbed into most parts of my body and was wrapping around me. The pain was unbearable as I felt my arms and legs break. It's the trees. The trees are alive. <laughs> I'm now being absorbed by the tree roots. One last thing to whoever found this. If you make it out of here, can you tell my family I love them? <laughs>
makes dealing with it a lot easier. And to everyone that hears this, please stay safe no matter what it is that you are doing.